Let's face it, it can be a struggle to find a tire that's not only appropriate for your occupation, but also helps you feel like the best version of yourself. And that's why we brought in the pros. The founder of Flourish Styling, Audrey Rocket Collins, is here to help us find pieces that will boost our confidence in the workplace. Yeah. All right. This so is where great. do we get started? Yeah. So as we know, everybody's workwear is going to look different depending yeah. on their personal style, like you said, their occupation, and of course their budget. What each one of us needs is gonna look different from our peers. But there are a few different changes that I've seen happen in the workplace, especially as we've all sort of boomeranged back from the impact of COVID and how that changed our lifestyles and our buying habits. It's so interesting because I do think that some people go, go to work and they just want to be comfortable. And sometimes that can look a little sloppy in the workplace and depending frumpy. on where you are. Sure. But then other people are using it like, oh, I'm getting out of the house three days a week if uh -huh. I'm only going back part time and using it as an opportunity to dress their best. Yes, that's exactly what I'm seeing too. Specifically, even those of us who love the opportunity to dress up, we are still finding comfort in physical comfort. Right. It has eased the transition over the past couple of years, and we're still looking really put together and polished in doing so. And I am so happy the wide legs have come in. Oh, yeah. And sneakers with dresses. Yes. I don't know who did this. It was probably you, Audrey. Thank you so much for bringing in this trend. But what new trends should we look out for as we enter spring? Because I know this is usually when people are looking at their wardrobe saying, this is all wrong. Sure. So I always like to boil things down to what are you actually wearing and what's bringing you joy when you're wearing it. Um, wardrobe staples and workwear continue to look Look like things like a button down. We each have our own unique version of that. Oftentimes, off white and white are going to start to yellow a little bit. So if you notice that your favorite wardrobe basics are kind of maybe yeah. ready for their next cycle, that's where I would start by replenishing. And I'm also seeing that we are simultaneously moving away from matching sets uh, in formal wear and incorporating them as separates, which means oftentimes retailers are actually marking down their formal suits, but we can integrate them with something more casual on the bottom. Kind of like what you're doing right now, yeah. which is still that. professional and you still get right. that business feel, but you're a little bit more comfortable. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And the pants too here. Yeah. And tell us about this piece. Sure, so I wanted to highlight this brand specifically. MM Lafleur has been on the scene for a few years now. And what my clients and I love about their stuff is they are sustainably made. They're a woman owned and operated company based in the US and all of their fabrics are absolutely delicious. They're incredibly yeah. wearable. This specific jacket is from a collection called Better Than Denim, and you can feel it has it's almost like a- structured structured and stretchy. So but also yes. doesn't feel like it's gonna be stiff and crinkly against your body. Exactly, so Lovely. they make a ton of different silhouettes in that material, and it's beloved by all. Oh, and there you go. Oh, uh, this, uh -huh. this looks tailored, straight, wide leg, anything that's not hugging us. Yes, exactly. Tell us about these. This yes. reminds me of the Lululemon. Is that what, what are these? These are beta brand, okay. but I was going to say they feel a lot like the Lululemon pants. They feel like uh, the Brooklyn collection from Athleta. Yeah. We are seeing a continued trend towards technical fabrics, even traditional brands like Banana Republic. Adding them in on board. Thank there goodness. Too. Well, yes. because it's a, you, you get the nice feel of like a work pant. Yep. But they're so comfortable and relaxed. Exactly. And do you see that what that has a waistband? <laughs> I, I have been begging for waistbands, soft pants. <laughs> yeah. We have a whole segment. I absolutely love it. Also, I'm seeing that there's a lot of things that are just bold. Just, just colors. I'm a yep. print wearer. How do we do that in spring without it being way too much? That's a great question. I always recommend leaning into the patterns that make you happy and really feel like part of your personal style. For me, I'm a plaid gal. I love to mix in my animal prints. A little bit of sparkle doesn't hurt anybody. No, never. So really think of these just kind of as your building blocks. Your personality is the sprinkle on top. And of course, factor in what your colors are. Of course. And that's where you can really help yeah. to fine tune what you're pulling in and being able to keep long wear. Absolutely. Long -term. Awesome stuff. Yes. If you would like to check out the Flourish Guide for recommended workwear, we're going to have a link on our website at kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh. Don't go anywhere.